What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Be The Fish. It is day two of the Bassmaster Kayak event here on the Susquehanna River. We are sitting in seventh place out of 224 anglers. Had a great day yesterday. Had a lot of fun. If you've not checked that video out, highly encourage you to. We're gonna try to run that back today, have another great day, have some freaking fun, and see where the hell we land up. Basically, we're bringing three rods today. We got the Chapo, we got a buzz bait, and we got a swim jig. A little small swim jig for around that grass. And we are just gonna run as much freaking possible water that we can. 99% of the time, we're gonna have that Chapo locked in our hands. It's been getting us the bites, and hopefully today it does the same. We're just gonna go have fun, fish free, see what, you know, fish opportunistic, and uh, we'll see what happens. I have no idea what today's gonna bring. Just stay positive and just go have a good time. I'm gonna get all set up, we'll see you guys in the water. Not even having one anymore. Alrighty, good morning guys. Uh, would have helped if I put a uh, battery in my chest camera. But we already got one in the boat this morning. We got a 15 incher. No bonus big fish this morning to start off with. At least on the main drag, but we floated down to the first area we started at yesterday. Gonna hope we can run into something here. Day one we had 94 inches and we left some on the table. Unfortunately, you're gonna get that with small mouth but hopefully today we can just keep our head in it stay positive have a good time have fun go explore we're gonna be running some new water a decent amount of new water today try to uh do our best to fish clean that is goal numero uno Blowing up right here. Little guy. Bro. Bro. Stop it. It might have been 12, but I just I can't waste my Oh, there's another one. Oh my god. Are they all this side? I mean, it's fun. Oh, it's smoked again. And again. Yeah, these are all small fish.
fish chased it all the way out. Comes right up to it, didn't eat it. Maybe I gotta throw it faster. Mm. Weird. That looked good too. Like that was a big boil. Well, Chapo gone. Somehow my braid broke, literally just casting. And it landed in the eddy, and now it's gone. I didn't see it float anywhere. I feel like I would have seen it. That was my last one of that color. <sighs> Goodness gracious, dude. That doesn't even make sense. Not the start that you want. That was a freaking big one. So good. Can I stay positive? Seventeen inch. All right, so we got a seventeen and a fifteen. The sucky part about like you know, seventeen is a great fish, but the sucky part about this tournament is knowing that having two fish in the live well is great, but really it's zero because we're gonna want to do well and stay where we're at. If not, move up. We're gonna need bigger than that. And <laughs> that. A 17 can't, has to go too. It's, we're gonna have to call these babies out, but it's okay. We got a long day. Like I always say, one cast at a time, one bite at a time, and hopefully one fish at a time. All right, right there maybe? No, okay. We're gonna play with me. See how it is, bro. There's one of the boils right there. It's messed up, man. Thought you were gonna play. I had a few boil, and they just didn't eat. They're being super weird. One more cast up there, and then we move in. We're gonna cast back in the boot. Bait's jumping back in there. If I were to bet. Well, what we're doing is not working. I need two fish. Not even good ones. We need to uh, we'll figure something else out here. I don't want to leave just yet. So I want to time it right to go up there when the shade's right. Need that sun to get up a little bit more. And then we'll go run the shade lines. Get some of that new water. I would have thought I'd get some more bites doing this, but I guess not. We've missed two big ones. So that sucks pretty bad. It is what it is. Gotta roll with the hits. Gotta roll with it. Honestly, I, I feel awesome. If I can catch one big one on 18 plus down here, I'll feel much better. I just don't know. There's too many people down here. Then also the voices in my head are like, you lost that color. It's all about the color. But I don't think this is really far off. Still white belly and everything. It's just the, uh, shad version the more i think about it the more i think i need to go run new water i just don't know if i if timing wise it's going to be right up there yet 
I guess there's only one way to find out. We'll hit a couple more things and then we'll probably just go up. And just go all the way up as much as far as we can go. Dude, are you serious? How does that fish not get the hooks? And literally, of course, as soon as I reach for my dang drive, that's when it blows up on it. Not in the four or five casts I made right there. Gosh, dang it, dude. I can't stay out of my own way. That was a freaking big one, dude. Gosh, dang it. guys we are up where we're gonna spend the rest of the day we're gonna go as far up as we can on as much new water as possible I don't know if you guys remember from the last video but we're coming up on a log where I lost a giant yesterday had her hooked she was over 20 could see from the video hopefully she eats again That was a giant. That was a giant. Oh, gosh. <laughs> You're kidding. I, I don't know why these fish are off this. Nothing's changed from yesterday to today. I really don't get it. I haven't gotten a bite in hours. I have literally two fish. Or more than half of the weight today that's really bad the amount of freaking fish i have missed or lost is ridiculous i don't know man just gonna keep running water i'm doing my very best to try to stay positive here oh <sighs> guys i am losing it i'm trying to keep a level head but that was a freaking 20 incher that i just threw off i've missed now four fish no five that i've had that are over the 18 inch. I could have locked myself into a check by now, but instead we're sitting on two fish that don't even matter with less than three hours left. How embarrassing is that? <sighs> I 
That's a rut you don't dig out of. I hung up on a log. Seventeen and a quarter. Not good. Well guys, we got three on the board. I apologize to you guys. I'm having such a trying day, it's not even funny. It's even the fish I do catch, it freaking gets hung up on a log. It took me 15 minutes to get my bait out of the net. I guess just, I, know, I feel like an idiot sitting here complaining. You know, it's just very frustrating, the little things that pile up. Whatever, so it's fishing. We're just going to keep running this stuff and hopefully they run into some more bites. Yeah, like less than two hours ago. I'll be honest, there's days sometimes like this where I, I'd love to throw it in the can. I just don't have it in my character to to leave and quit as much as I'd like to sometimes when it's driving me crazy because you know when you're fun fishing and things are aggravating you like that sometimes the best thing to do is just go float or leave but we're not leaving determined to find that next bite oh we could have had such a good bag today the fish we've lost we would have we'd be going to awards already that sucks so bad who knows though we can run into some more, hopefully. Hey right, guys, we're making a move. We got an hour left. Still only a three fish. Not a good day, guys. It's been kind of one of those years for me where I decide to uh, lose fish somehow. Lose fish, they don't commit something. Not a little maddening, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. We got an hour left, we ain't gonna quit. Talk to you guys when we get back to the house. Well guys, we are back home and uh, it is a few weeks after this event. Edit, I think editing this day was almost harder than actually living it. It was uh, pretty tough to go through all that again. Definitely was not an easy day, emotionally, mentally. A lot of, uh, I don't even want to say ups and downs because there really wasn't many ups at all. I felt like I did a good job for the most part, staying mentally in it, but I definitely slipped at the end and just 
just was being sloppy. Things got to me and I let a great day slip away. Uh, I tried adjusting to the buzz bait. What I do wish I had was a wacky rig or something that I could have slipped in there with one small hook and gotten those fish. Something with a better hookup ratio because the bite was so good day one. If you haven't watched that one yet, please go watch that because it's the polar opposite of this video. I'll tell you that much. I, they were eating the chopo so good. I thought all I needed was basically a chopo rod. And I brought a chopo, a buzz bait, and a swim jig. That's all I brought. I wish I brought a freaking wacky rig. That's note to self, always have some sort of follow-up, you know, for the most part, especially when you're talking about river fish. This is what's what I'm learning with the Susky, but I've been there several times now and I am learning something new every single time and I'm getting it a little bit more dialed in each time. And thankfully, you know, uh, practice video, I went out with my buddy Steve and Sisto and he taught me some river stuff, you know, like how to maneuver, some of the little nitty gritty things, not like low, like spot wise, but like things to understand about the river. And that really helped my learning curve. But all I gotta say is look out for the next time we go down the Susquehanna River because I'm gonna come back with a vengeance. Going from seventh leading, you know, in the top 10 in day one, I have 200 plus uh, dropping. It's not even catching a limit. Not good, not good at all. I mean, we could have a limit. We had a limit of fish, but I didn't put those small ones on there. Cause at the end of the day for me, it's like, I'm not competing for, for AOI. I can only do two events. I already made the championship. So basically it was like, if that fish is not big, I'm not putting it on the board. Like there's no point in putting any too small fish. So I obviously want to get a limit, but you know, anything under 15, just, there's no point. You know, you're just wasting your time. But I learned a lot, learned a lot. These are one of those things you look back on. Yeah, they're <laughs> mentally devastating, but these are where you learn. These are the opportunities where you improve. These are the opportunities that you're granted with to make something good out of them, even though they might have been negative in that moment. This is the time to take them and turn them into something good. So that's what we're gonna do. All I'm saying, next time we go to that river, look out, people. I'm coming. Appreciate y'all for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next one. Cheers.